Good morning, guys. I survived a painful night thanks to my uh, beautiful fruit friends. It's amazing. I, uh, even after coming home from the doctor or the appointment, I, I went and got groceries. I figured I was numb, I wasn't going to feel a lot of pain. And I loaded up on my favorites the grapes, the cherries. My cucumbers, tomatoes, my spinach, zucchini, so I could make my spaghetti zucchini. And, uh, some more mangoes. The, uh, melons, it's season and it's, I've never tried this Tuscan and it's supposed to be very, very sweet, but it smells delicious and this honeydew is supposed to be white honeydew. So I can't wait to taste that. I'm alive and well. I, uh, I went through a very, very rough night last night. I, I did some oregano oil, which is, uh, this is like every person should have this in their medicine cabinet. take it topically, I, I actually drink it, it helps kill parasites, fights viruses, bacteria, it's actually an analgestic as well, an analgestic, whatever it's called, and I actually took a Q-tip and put some in the areas, and it helped, I mean, a lot of people, my sister and uh, some wonderful people on YouTube uh, recommended clover oil, but I didn't have that, and I couldn't even think last night to get into the car and drive and try to buy anything, I mean, when you have that constant pain. I mean, five teeth were worked on, and there was one really deep uh, cavity in my wisdom tooth that uh, she had to go behind the nerve or something like that. So I think that's what really killed me. So my sinuses were like on fire. I felt like I had acid in my sinus cavity. That's how bad it was. I um, decided to eat some fruit. Something Sammy told me, just eat fruit. And I ate a ton of fruits. You know, the little bananas and some of the peaches. And somehow that just kind of like really, really put me in a good state. I also listened to a um, a frequency. Uh, it's called uh, somebody from YouTube, Jazabel, uh, gave me a free link to download this music to help me sleep. And that was amazing. And I'm very, very thankful. Um, and this morning, I woke up feeling better. I was able to go ride my bike, because I ran Monday and Tuesday. I usually run Monday and Tuesday, ride my bike Wednesday, and then run Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, and I gardened, and I'm getting ready to talk to a client uh, who had some sort of, uh, I guess, had some sort of emergency, because we usually don't talk during the day. I do a lot of consulting via phone, Skype, emails uh, regarding nutrition, uh, a lot of spiritual work, a lot of uh, psychological work as well because I am an occupational therapist. So um, I got woken up this morning by that text and I was like, okay, I woke up, looked at the text and I was like, okay, I slept, that's good. I had a couple of rough times, you know, I got up and I felt, but it's just, you know, it's part of what is. We we try to numb pain, and pain is our biggest teacher. And there's something we're supposed to learn from this pain. We're supposed to feel that frequency. Everything's energy. Everything in this world is energy, and everything is a lesson. And we're supposed to feel happy. We're supposed to feel sad. We're supposed to feel joy. We're supposed to feel pain. These feelings create something within this spirit. And places in, in almost like in a library, collective consciousness, and we're supposed to gather all these feelings. If we keep numbing something, that it's just only going to come back three folds, because until you finally learn your lesson, you're going to repeat the same mistakes over and over again, until you acknowledge, until you accept, until you feel. So I don't do pain pills. First of all, they don't agree with me. Second of all, I do not want to become addictive. And I have a very addictive personality. You know, when I was younger, I was addicted to uh, certain substances, and I was able to break through those addictions. And I don't ever want to go back. So why tempt with fire? Why play with fire, you know? 
So I just don't, I don't like pain pills. They have a lot of side effects, a lot of problems that make people very dependent, and they create other problems. You mask one thing, and then you create something else. So I don't do that. And you know what? I feel great this morning. I mean, not 100%, but compared to the way I felt yesterday, I thought I was going to die. I was screaming by myself here, shaking my head back and forth. I mean, it was like, ah, it was bad. But I knew it would pass. I knew if I gave in, if I surrendered, and I was calm instead of getting agitated, that it would pass. So here I am. i got to let you go because i got to call my client. I told, her, I told uh, my client at 1030. So uh, I'm alive and well. Thank you for all your love and support and concerns and prayers and thoughts and, and all the good things and advice. Love you guys. But remember to always, always love yourselves too. Bye-bye.